Take out the warp. Cut a 2 meter thread. Take out the tape measure and measure. Take 1 meter first. Fold in half. Cut the line. In this way, a 2 meter thread can be measured. Take one of them. Remove the macroporous needle. Thread the thread through the large hole needle. Thread is long on one side and short on the other. Start threading warps on the braided board. Start from the far left. The first hole below goes from bottom to top. The thread on the back leaves about 10 centimeters. The first hole on top is threaded from top to bottom. Turn to the back. Knot the thread and fix it. The knot should be tightened. Cut with scissors. Leave about 5 millimeters for the short thread. Put the thread at the back into the hole above. Put the braided board back on the front. Then go through the second hole on the top from bottom to top. Tie in the thread. Pull to the second hole below. Wear from top to bottom. Rubbish! Go through the third hole below from bottom to top. Keep threading like this and press the wire next to the hole. In this way, the worn thread will not loosen. You can see that it is a single layer. If there is a double layer, it is wrong. Until this braided board is full, the thread of the entire braided board should be slightly tighter. Not too loose, not too tight. The warp line loosens during the knitting process. Remember to adjust the tension. The same problem was encountered during subsequent production. Remember to adjust. It's a line segment when it gets here. And we start wiring. Turn it over to the back and go through the line segment to the previous hole through the middle. Pull tightly. Wear it again. Tighten and fix. The needle is running through the thread. Circle the needle. Pull tightly. Cut the extra thread. Leave about 5 millimeters of thread. So the knot is tied. Continue to cut a 2 meter thread. Thread in the same way. Go through the knotted line first. Leave 10 centimeters of thread at the tail to tie and fix. You can tie a few more knots to fix it. Cut the excess thread through the adjacent hole on the side. This completes the wiring once. Turn the braided board back to the front for threading. Keep threading the same way until the warp threads through this braided board. When the line is too short in the back, it's all wired the same way.
After wearing it all, turn it over to the back and tie the knot. Go up through the line segment. The method of tying the knot in the middle is the same. You can wear a few more stitches to fix it. So, the woven version of the gold thread is worn. Next, take out the Bean Green Music Love wool as the background. Find the thread. Cut 2 meters of noodles. Remove the long needle. Thread the thread into the needle. Streamlines are also long on one side and short on the other. The middle line, the line starts from the right. The line in the middle goes through. Pull the line over. The line at the tail leaves about 10 centimeters. Move the thread to the bottom of the braid. The first line is worn. Continue to turn from here to pass the line. Go back to the first line on the left and jump up. The middle wire is pressed down. Then jump the first line on the right through. Take out the comb and comb the thread down straight. The second line is worn. Then the third line of wear. Same as the first line. The same is to press the right wire first. Pick the middle wire and press down. First line on the left. Pick another thread to the left. Take a comb and comb it neatly every time you wear it. Between the second hole and the third hole, I wore three lines of plain weave. Now that line is down there. The fourth line begins. Add a warp to the left and right. To wear back is to press down. Pick the second thread. Press the third wire. Pick the fourth thread. Through. The coil here. Be careful not to pull it too tightly. If you pull too tightly, the mirror line will deform. So the fourth line is worn. The fifth line is in the middle and this line is vertical to the right. Pick up the second thread first. Second thread. Press down to the left. Pick and press again. Pick up. Keep repeating this line picking method. Start with the third hole. Line five is the line in the middle. Four lines of plain weave are worn between every two now holes. Now it's line five. Then wear line six and seven plain weave. Line 7 plain weave is worn. Four lines of plain weave between the two holes are worn. Start wearing line 8 plain weave. Then in the next hole, add one warp to the left and right. Show above. If you wear it back, you have to pick it up. Remember to add a thread to the right as well. Repeat this practice, Kawagoa Ping Wan. When wearing gold thread, be careful not to twist these plain lines. Can be adjusted by hand. After the four lines of plain weave are worn, add a warp on each side. 
so pick another thread to the left. Then go up four more lines. After the four lines are worn, continue to add a warp on each side. This thread is on it. Pick first and then press. Do this over and over again. Slow after four lines, increment slowly to the top. Add one thread to the left and right. I will teach you the wiring method here. Cut another two meter thread. Tie the thread. Cut off the excess thread at the tail so the wiring is done. Take the other end of the thread. Through the long needle. Time plain weave. Then hide the thread. When there is thread, slowly tighten it. Adjust the thread on the back. The line is short at the back. The wiring method is the same. Continue knitting upwards in the same way. Until all the plain weave is worn. There is no gap between the worn plain weave and the braided board. In the process of weaving plain weave, remember not to pull the warp lines on both sides The woven tightly. painting will be neater in this way. Thread into the middle of the braided board. The last wire is tighter. You can gently pick it up with your hands when making it. Pick up through the second wire and press down. It is also four lines of plain weave between the two holes. Continue to make plain weave. Same goes for the last wire on the right. Lightly pick it up with your hands. Knit up. Plain weave on top. The weaving pattern is four lines of plain weave between every two holes. Then cut a warp thread around the left and right. Will form. Symmetrical with the lower half. The bottom half is incrementing. The top half is decreasing. That's four lines per weave. Cut a warp on the left and right, and it's going to go down like this. During the production process, 
Wear it smoothly in all four rows. There are gaps on both sides. Increase the number of lines according to your actual situation. After wearing it here, wear four rows the same. After wearing, thread the line under the pen to the back. Just tweak it a little bit. Turn to the back knot. If the line is too long, you can cut it shorter and then tie it. Pull the coil to the bottom. Tighten. Tie an extra knot to fix. Cut the excess thread. Thread at the other end, not in fix in the same way. Thread the thread to the back by taking a small, large, whole needle. In this way, the plain weave is all worn. Take out the water pen. Here we go! To draw the branch part to be embroidered on plain weave. Count one or two from the bottom middle hole. Six to sixth holes horizontally. Middle part. Go up from the middle hole vertically. It's the middle of the sixth hole. This wool is more difficult to color. You can paint more. Draw to about the middle. Remember that it is the horizontal direction of the middle hole. There's a branch going up here. It's longer. Count one or two from the hole in the middle on the right. Eight the eighth hole about horizontally at the eighth hole. Then on the branch you just drew, it goes up about 1.5 centimeters. Draw a connecting line. And that's where the first branch is. The second branch is at the bottom. Again, start with the hole in the middle and count to the right. About 1.5 centimeters. The third branch is the hole in the middle. Four holes up. The middle branch is about 2.5 centimeters to the left. This is the approximate position of the branches. And if you ride something in the wrong spot with water, you do it. If you draw the wrong position, you can gently wipe it off with a wet tissue. And dry it with a dry tissue and redraw. This is how to use the water pen. Take out the grass chestnut thread. This material package uses this single strand wool. No texture on it. Works produced. The effect will be better than other wires. But it should be noted that.
because it is single stock, relatively easy to break. You need to pay attention during the production process. Do not pull hard and rub repeatedly to avoid disconnection of the wool. If disconnected, we can re-thread and make it. Just cut a one meter noodle. Remove the large hole needle. Thread the thread through the large hole needle. Tail thread, same long and short. The long end is knotted. Embroider from the bottom to the right of the middlemost longitude. Inject the needle from the back up. Start lock needle embroidery here. Tighten, not too tight. Otherwise, the plain weave will be deformed. To the left of the same horizontal longitude, thread from top to bottom back. There's a little coil at the bottom. You can see here's the thread just woven. Then insert the needle one thread apart and the next wire. Insert the needle from the left side of the line. Wrap the coil over the needle. Pull the needle out. Tension. And that's the first lock stitch. Insert the needle from the right side in the same horizontal direction. Wear it back. Leave a coil, coil down, here in the threading, separate a thread. Next thread, put it on. Continue to wrap the thread over the needle. Tension. This completes the two lock needle embroidery. Continue to do the third lock needle embroidery. Continue to embroider upwards in the same way until the intersection in the middle. Embroider That's where two. the three branches fork. Embroider this branch to the left first. Dried thread segment. The shoe is threaded from top to bottom, about a centimeter away. Insert the needle from the middle and right of the line segment and put it on. Wear it back about a centimeter away. Also insert the needle from the middle of the line segment and put it on. Use the same embroidery method. Just embroider it to the top of the water pen on the left. The left branch is embroidered. Turn to the back. It's okay if this thread is a little frizzy. Direct knot fixing. Wrap the needle to the left. Pull the wire through the coil. Repeat what you just did. Cut the extra thread so the knot is tied. The subsequent method of tying and fixing the knot Flip is the back same. To front. Cut another 50 centimeters thread. Tie a knot at the end. Lock the needle from the fork and put it on the middle of the sleeve. Embroider the right branch. The embroidery method is the same as the embroidery on the left.
Enter the needle from the middle and left of the line segment and put it on. Embroider another needle on line. Three lines are embroidered on the right, then embroider the middle line segment. The embroidery method is the same. The needle is also inserted from the left and put on. In this way, all three straight rods turn to the back embroidered. and tie the knot. Take a tissue and wet it. Wipe the position of the pen. Wipe up the leaks. In this way, the exposed water will wipe the pen. Take out the light green line. Cut a 1 meter noodle. Thread the thread through the large hole needle. The tail is also one long and one short. Knot and fix at the tail. Then embroider the middle branch. Lily bud. Insert the needle from the top. Wear bottom up. Tension from the first hole on the side. The first hole starts to count 1,234,567. Seventh hole, take out the long needle right here. Right needle through. Penetrate the top of the branch. The thread goes around the right side of the needle. Thread the top part of the long needle back to the back. Continue to pass under the long needle. Two dashes apart. Take another large hole needle. Spread the middle line. Take a large hole needle and fix it. The distance between the two lines is about 2.5 centimeters. The thread continues to bypass the long needle on the right. Then we need to weave plain weave to make flower buds. Thread from top to bottom. First wire pick, second wire pressure, third wire pick. Pull the line over. Adjust it with your fingers after wearing it. Move the line to the right. Step away from the needle on the right. Be careful not to wear it on the back when threading. Plain wool. The first line is below. The second line starts by pressing first, then picking, and then pressing to pass the line through. Repeat the practice of the first line. Pick first, then press, and then pick. Adjust it. The wool and wool should be close together. Just leave no gaps. Line four is the same as the second line. Read the first and second lines. Continue to thread wool to the left.
Now wear it to the middle. Move the fixed position of the needle to the left. Keep making. You can take the needle off here. Where are the rest? Just fill it up here. Remove the long needle. Break the petals. In some places, the fibers of the wool will be tied. Just take scissors and cut them off. Then thread the needle back from the side position. Turn to the back and tie the knot to fix. The first petal is sewn. Sew another piece next to the sewn petal. Put the sewn petals up to the right. So the second petal is also sewn. Second petal is sewn under the first petal. Join the two petals. Pinch them together. Arch the middle part. Make them bud. Cut a 50 centimeters thread. Tie a knot at the end. Put a needle in the middle of the top of the two petals and put it on. While passing through the top middle of the upper petal, through the middle of the petals below, wear from front to back. Leave a small coil. Pull the large needle through the small coil tightly. Wear back. Not fixed. So the buds are ready. Cut a 1.5 meters white thread. Thread in the same way. Sew petals at the top of the left branch. Insert the needle from the back and thread it up. We're going to count 12,345 from here. Probably at the position of the fifth hole. Lengthening needle into needle. You run a needle through the white wool. First, make a circle on the left side of the long needle. It is the same as the bud sewn on the right. Insert the needle on top of the We're long back. needle. Remove the large hole needle. Open the position between the two lines. Fixed. The large hole needle comes out from under the right side of the long needle. Circle the long needle to the left. The first line picks first, then presses, and then picks. Adjust it and push it to the left. The second line is to press first, then pick and then press. Repeat the practice of the first and second lines. Make this pedal.
After wearing it, put a needle into the back. Trim it. Knot and fix on the back. And then one petal is sewn. Continue to thread the long needle in the same position. Then sew it next to the petals and wear it out. Continue to sew petals in the same way. The second petal is ready. According to the same method, continue sewing four petals here. Here are all six petals made. Cut a one meter white thread. Tie a knot at the end. Next, fix the petals. Six petals divided evenly. Take any petal and fix it. The petals curve like an arch bridge. Frame from the back. Left up vertical, about 1.5 centimeters to the right of the fifth hole. Thread a needle up from the back of the top of the petal. Insert the needle next to the same position. Wear back. Adjust the curvature of the petals. Take a look at where the next petal is. Probably in the middle of the two holes. Adjust the radian. Fix. The method of fixing is the same. Adjust the third petal. About the location? Probably in the middle of the fourth and fifth holes. The position of the remaining three petals. Also fixed in the same way. The location is about even. Fixed. 
The curvature can be adjusted according to your preferences. So, the approximate shape of the flower is fixed. Adjust it. Make the flowers more concentrated. Gently widen the petals to the sides. Adjust the part of the back edge. Sew two stitches in the middle. Fix it a little. Pierce a needle up the middle of any petal. Hold your finger against the curvature of the petal. Make the petals more three-dimensional. Threading back between the two petals. Fix another stitch to the left. After fixing the three-dimensional petals, when turning to the back, raise the upper half. This will not deform the fixed flower pressure. Then tie the knot and fix it. The flower is fixed. Next sew the middle, flower, core part. Cut a one meter light green thread. Tie a knot at the end. Put it on from the middle of the flower core. Probably on the top petal. Wear on the side to the back. The length of the line segment can be controlled by yourself. It can be supported and fixed on the back by hand. Adjust it. Continue to wear it from the middle position up. Be careful not to pull too tightly. Fix a frame five millimeters lower, right? Wear from the middle position up. Make flower hearts on line segments of different lengths on the petals. So the flower core is sewn. Tie a knot on the longest line segment. Wear from the side up. Start knuckle embroidery. Put the needle in a circle at the bottom of the line. Go around again. Go around twice. Wear it back from the same position. Support the back of the petal with your finger. Be careful when pulling. Avoid petal deformation. This position is fixed. Turn to the back and tie the knot. Cut a one meter pineapple yellow thread. Then sew a jelly embroidery on top of each flower heart. Wear from the back up. Wrap the needle around the wire. Wear it back. Hold the petals with your hands when wearing them. Avoid deformation of fixed petals. You can also sew one next to it.
Just go around here. So the rest. After sewing, turn it over to the back to tie a knot and fix it. The flower core part is sewn here. This lily here is embroidered. Embroider another lily here on the third branch. It is also composed of six petals. It's made the same way. Fix the position first. Remember to need bigger petals. The distance between the long needles can be worn longer. Start threading. The first petal is sewn. Put it aside and make it. Second petal. All six petals on the right are sewn. Take the middle two petals first. About the distance from the fifth hole. Fix it here. The second petal is about one. Eight fix in the eighth hole. Adjust it. The leaf above is also flat. It doesn't take a lot of radians. Adjust the remaining three petals. Make them all face the same side. The bottom piece is 1.5 centimeters at the top. Bend down to the left. Put the approximate location. Fix the one on the left first. The two edges are slightly fixed. Fix the petal on the right first. The piece on the right is also bent. Bend up right and fix. Turn to the back and tie the knot. Take the remaining line. Fix the remaining petals. Take a look at the method of fixing the petals at the bend where the petals are fixed. To make a connection between these three petals. In the left middle of the left petal, right to left, leave about three centimeters of thread. From the left middle of the upper left petal, put two petals together. Check the location. Thread a needle forward from the back. Knot. Don't tighten this knot too much. Cut off the excess thread and take a look. 
pull the line to the right in a horizontal position. Connect with the one on the right in the same way. The pedal bends up. Make it look a little curved. Then connect the position one centimeter higher. Do another connection fixing. Thread another needle through the pedal to the right. And it goes back between the pedals. Adjust the radian. Flip to the back to fix. Sew some flower cores in it. Cut a one meter light green thread. Sew the segment inside in the same way. Insert the needle from the middle and thread it up. The middle of the petals goes back to the back. The length of the segment sewn here, you can decide according to your preference. Sew one on the longest line segment. Try your best to embroider flower hearts. This is going around twice. Not fixed. Then take the pineapple yellow thread and make the rest of the flower core. The yellow thread of pineapple can be wound once. Hold the position of the radian with your hand. Avoid deformation. So the flower part. It's embroidered. Next, embroider the leaf part. Embroider the leaf above first. Adjust the direction of the braided board. The leaves are all the same. Cut a 1.5 meter thread. Check the location. The needle is inserted about one centimeter from the branch. Wear from the back forward. Don't wear the wrong position. Remove the long needle and fix it. Start counting from the hole in the middle. The fourth hole is about 1.5 centimeters up into the needle. Exit the needle diagonally to the position of the large hole needle. The leaves are about the same length as the bud on the left. Keep making it the same way. The width of the leaves will be smaller. The width of the petals will be larger. The one on the right is smaller. The flower on the left is bigger. I want fuller leaves. Everyone can make it according to the big flower.
bend the finished leaves in an arc to fix them. Count the positions. The fourth hole is about 1.5 centimeters up. If the bottom line is longer, fix directly. No need to take another thread. Leaf Adjustment Radian Go forward from the back in the middle on the left. Put it back on. Not fixed. The leaves above are ready. There are three more leaves below. Embroider a leaf on the ninth line. This leaf is smaller. Insert the needle about four centimeters to the left. Do the same thing with this little leaf. Cut a barley grass green thread. The small leaf line does not need to be too long. After the small leaves are done, fix it about 0.5 centimeters up. One, two, three, four, five, six. The position in the middle of the sixth line segment. Insert the needle diagonally to the right at a distance of 10 cm. Then embroider the leaves. The tail of the leaf bends down. Adjust it. Fix in this position. Count. The tenth hole is fixed five centimeters to the left. Thread another needle online. Secure a needle on the right side of the bend. Turn to the back and tie the knot to fix. The leaves on the right are embroidered. I'm going to embroider a symmetrical leaf on the left. The location is around 1234. Insert the needle in the middle of the fourth line segment. Slant to the left. Wear out at a distance of 10 cm. And just make that leaf as you make the right leaf. The leaf on the left is also done. So the lily weaving painting is done. Okay, that's it for today's class.